Lucas chapter 24 or Luke chapter 24. But on day one of the week at the early dawn they came to the tomb bringing the spices which they had prepared and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb and having entered they did not find the body of the master Yeshua. And it came to be as they were perplexed about this that see two men stood by them in glittering garments and becoming frightened and bowing their faces to the earth these said to them why do you seek the living among the dead he is not here but has been raised up remember how he spoke to you when he was in, still in Galil saying the son of Adam has to be delivered into the hands of sinners and to be impaled and the third day rise again and they remembered his words and having returned from the tomb they reported all this to the eleven and to the rest. And it was Miriam from Magdala and Johanan and Miriam, the mother of Jacob, and the rest of, with them who told this to the emissaries. And their words appeared to them to be nonsense, and they did not believe them. But Kepha arose and ran to the tomb, and stooping down he saw the linen wrappings lying by themselves and went away home marveling at what took place. And see, two of them were going that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was sixty stadia from Jerusalem. And they were talking to each other of all this which had taken place. And it came to be as they were talking and reasoning that Yeshua himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were restrained so that they did not know him. And he said to them, What are these words you are exchanging with each other? As you are walking, are and are you and you are sad? And the one whose name was Theopolis answering said to him, Are you the lone visitor in Jerusalem who does not know what took place in it these days? And he said to them, What? And they said to him, Concerning Yeshua of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before Elohim and all the people. And how the chief priest and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and impelled him. We, however, were expecting that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. But besides all this, today is the third day since these matters took place. But certain women of ours who arrived at the tomb early also astonished us. When they did not find his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of messengers who said he was alive and some of those with us went to the tomb and found it as also the women had said but they did not see him and he said to them O thoughtless ones O slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken was it not necessary for the Messiah to suffer these and to enter into his esteem and beginning at Moshe and all the prophets, he was explaining to them in all the scriptures and the matters concerning himself. And they approached the village where they were going, and he seemed to be going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, for it is toward evening, and the day has declined. And he went, and he went in to stay with them. And it came to be, when he sat at the table with them, having taken the bread, he blessed, and having broken... He was giving it to them, and their eyes were open, and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. And they said to each other, Was not our heart burning within us as he was speaking to us on the way, and as he was opening the scriptures to us? And rising up that same hour, they returned to Jerusalem, and found the eleven and those who were with them gathered together, saying, the master was truly raised and has appeared to Shimon. <clears throat> and they related what, what took place on the way and how he was recognized by them in the breaking of the bread. And as they were saying this, Yeshua himself stood in the midst of them and said to them, Peace to you. And being startled and frightened, they thought they had seen a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled and why do doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is myself? Handle me and see me, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. 
And saying this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they were still not believing for joy and marveling, he said to them, Have you any food here? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and some honeycomb. And taking it, he ate it in their presence. And, they, and he said to them, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all, I, <clears throat> that all have to be filled that were written in the Torah of Moshe and the prophets and the Tehillim concerning me. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it has been written, and so it was necessary for the Messiah to suffer and rise again from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these matters. And see, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but you are to remain in the city of Jerusalem until you are clothed with power from on high. And he led them out as far as Beathaniah, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. And it came to be, while he was blessing them, that he was parted from them and was taken up, taken up into heaven. And they, having bowed down to him, returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the set-apart place, praising and blessing Elohim. Amen.